When it comes to the Keyblade War, we all know the legends already. A violent clash was waged over that faded land of the Keyblade graveyard that resulted in the darkness swallowing Kingdom Hearts and destroying the world when it was still one. However, the worlds were rebuilt as separate small worlds thanks to the light within children's hearts. We've heard the story time and time again, and thanks to the advents of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, more light and details relating to this specific tale have been revealed. And most of these tales, and the origin of it all, started with Daybreak Town. This would be the central home for Keyblade wielders, along with the Master of Masters and his six apprentices. A truly beautiful town. However, thanks to the advents of Kingdom Hearts 3 and Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind, we know that Scala Ad Kylum is built upon the ruins of Daybreak Town, and that a cataclysmic event, only known as The Break, resulted in Daybreak Town becoming Scala Ad Kylum. But the question is, what is the break and how did it happen? What's up guys, it's HMK once again with another Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind video. I really wanted to put this video together discussing the break of Daybreak Town into Scala Ad Kylum, especially after seeing Cage Island's awesome April Fool's Day prank. That one really got me, man. I really almost zoomed into making a video after seeing this screenshot. Either way, I want to bring up the break with you guys because not only do we see something in the base Kingdom Hearts 3 game, but they also decided to remind us, <laughs> get it, in Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind about this event. It definitely seems horrifying, so how about let's dive right into the darkness. So when it comes to Daybreak Town breaking into Scala Ad Kylum, we need to consider some of the legends surrounding this area, known as Scala Ad Kylum, that were spoken by Xehanort. He states, Once a seat of power for all Keyblade wielders, it is the nexus in which all worlds spring. Definitely the words about once being a seat of power for all Keyblade wielders goes in line with what Daybreak Town was. And from the backstory that we know of young Xehanort and young Ericus training together as Keyblade wielders within Scala at Kylum, this motif being the base homeworld for Keyblade wielders seemed to have persisted after the break. But what exactly is this break? As one would think a cataclysmic event that would reset something of a world like this would be the Keyblade War. But after the war that was shown in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, Daybreak Town still existed as Daybreak Town, albeit a altered version of it, as the new Union leaders used this as a base of operations moving forward after the Keyblade War as per the instructions of Master Ava. However, it is truly unclear of the true fate of Daybreak Town, as within the current story, it is heavily implied that this Daybreak Town that we're currently in, living in, is a data version of the town, and that the true Daybreak Town has yet to be seen after the Keyblade War and may already be broken. But where is the notion of the break coming from really? Well, like I said before, within Kingdom Hearts 3, the base game, when you're facing off Xehanort in the Fauna Clash, at one point when you face off against the armored Keyblade Master, you go under the waters of Scala Ad Kylum, only to see the clock tower of Daybreak Town broken and ravaged and suspended eerily upside down. That was the first clue of the fate of Daybreak Town. However, the notion and name of Break would come afterwards in Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. When exploring Scala Ad Kylum looking for the fragments of Kyrie's heart, a peculiar contraption holds one of the pieces. This mechanical mural seems to hint at the fate of Daybreak Town going in to Scala Ad Kylum, and the fact that it holds one of the fragments to Kyrie's heart means that someone, the developers, Xehanort, whoever, really want us to know that this is something we should think about. In what seems to be a globe of what the world could have been before the advent of the Keyblade War, you must match up with three points on the map. Before you do, there is a banner before everything starts to move, written in the language of Scala Ad Kylum. However, currently, this language has yet to be deciphered and translated. Once you get one point matched up on the map, the mural moves and shows us Daybreak Town as we knew it, along with the legible banner of Daybreak Town. However, when the second point is matched up, this is when things get dark. The banner of Daybreak Town then splits apart or breaks apart, with the word break specifically skewered and brought down as the only word remaining. It is then the tower is left alone without the town and the background is filled with dark clouds and a red sky, and with the clock tower of Daybreak Town standing alone on a mound of crimson rock. This, ladies and gentlemen, 
is the ominous clue known as the break. And with the imagery shown here in Scala Ad Kylum, there has yet to be any cataclysm within the history of Kingdom Hearts that matches up with the visuals of the break. And once the third and final point is matched up on the map, it is then that Daybreak Town, or I should say, the Lonely Clock Tower, flips over completely in which we see the beautiful city of Scala Ad Kylum rising proud. And this motion lines up completely to the truth that we know when facing Xehanort, that Scala Ad Kylum is built upon the flipped ruins of the clock tower within Daybreak Town. With this, we are given a glimpse into the history of Scala Ad Kylum, and that apparently the history and lore within this town, Daybreak Town, or what happened to it, is definitely not a secret, and supposedly is well known within the inhabitants of this city. With that in mind, it definitely seems that we might get more information on the break of Daybreak Town when it comes to young Xehanort's story in the upcoming Kingdom Hearts Dark Road. As it does take place within Scala Ad Kylum during the younger days of Xehanort and Ericus, and will apparently be linked heavily to that of Union Cross. But with this terrible red imagery that the break of Daybreak Town shows us, going to the reformation into Skull Ad Kylum, it makes me think that this event is much more horrifying than that of the Keyblade War. Or it could be the true end of the Keyblade War. As told by the Master of Masters to Lushu, the Keyblade War, or I should say in reality the war between light and darkness, has existed since the time of the Master of Masters' childhood. So in reality, the start of the war existed long before than we actually first thought. And with the new Union leaders facing a problem with a darkness that seems to be assisting Maleficent, who's to say that we haven't seen the end of the Keyblade War that is being dealt with in the time of Union Cross, since this is truly a battle between light and darkness, and that the true end of this specific Keyblade War will result in the break of Daybreak Town. In any case, I definitely see this event being directly tied to the Keyblade wielders of that time somehow escaping beyond that world line to reach the point of history of Kingdom Hearts that is current, that will coincide with the secret reports written by Lushu. I believe that the catastrophe of the break of Daybreak Town will be so great that they have no choice but to escape. But one must stay behind, the one that will be chosen by Lushu to carry on the gazing eye, and that one may be the one to build Scala Ad Kylum upon the ruins of Daybreak Town after the break. With that being said, what do you think the break of Daybreak Town truly is, and when do you think we will see it? Leave your thoughts and theories in the comment section below, and be sure to share up the video to keep the conversation going. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe as I post Kingdom Hearts content every week. Big thanks to my Patreon supporters for help making this video happen. If you want to find out how you can support HMK for just a dollar a month, please check out my Patreon page. Alright guys, until the next Kingdom Hearts video, this has been HMK, and I'll check you guys later. So you haven't subscribed to HMK yet. Don't piss Xemnas off.